I've been wanting to demonstrate this noise for a while. It's a whining noise from the front end of the engine. It sounds just like a power steering pump. And uh, many people misdiagnose it as a power steering pump. Even shops have misdiagnosed it as a power steering pump. And, uh, and they bring it to me and say they had the pump changed and the noise is still there. I don't know why they don't go back to the original shop. It's fed up, I guess. And I tell them they need a $20 pulley and they get all mad at the other shop. So what it is, is the idler pulley and the tensioner pulley right there. What happens is they the bearings start going inside the little ball bearings and they get that whine noise just like a power steering wheel. And it's common on the 5.4, but the 4.6 and the Crown Vic Explorers, this F-150s, um, this one's an E-150, same thing. Um, different pulley uh, variations, but they all make the same noise. And uh, I'm gonna demonstrate it for you now, so you can hear, and then we're gonna change them out. Now the best way and the safest way to diagnose this is to uh, listen for it and localize it to one part of the engine, like over here, or over here. And then we can pull the belt off and we can spin them by hand and you'll feel them not, they won't be smooth at all. Um, the pulleys won't necessarily be loose, but when you take them off and you spin them in your fingers and your hand, you can feel the roughness and that's, then you know all the noise is coming from that area. Now what's real bad on some of these, you see those nubs sticking out right there, that one above the power steering pump and then that one. On some cars, uh, they have four sixes in them, trucks, um, they have idlers on them. And it's usually a groove pulley down there. And those ones go bad all the time, too. They're bearings. And those are right next to the power steering pump. And that's how the last one in an Explorer, or Mountaineer 1 or 2, got misdiagnosed by the other shop. It was, it was so close like that and sounds so much like a power steering whine. So we're going to get started on yanking these out. Alright, put your half inch breaker bar into that keyed slot on the tensioner and we're going to release tension and pull the belt off. Pop that out of there. Let's pull the idler. The idler is 13 millimeter, and then the tensioner has three 10 millimeter bolts. Right. See if we can get this. Tensioner is usually the worst sounding. The bearings go on these first over to idlers. See if you can listen to this. Now imagine that with some belt tension on it, and uh, a lot faster. You can see where all the noise is coming from. So reinstall the tensioner and the idler, and then throw your belt back on. I'll put uh, pictures of the belt routing in the description, and I'll also have the uh, torque specs for those two also. But I just wanted to show you it's very easy to get to and um, there's no reason to have them going out on you like that because they can disintegrate and come apart and you lose your belt and power steering and electrical and all that. So I hope this helps. It, it can be a tricky diagnosis. Um, the reason why we get it right is because we've seen so many work on the same brand. Um, whereas other shops um, are taking a guess pretty much. Nice and quiet, all back together, all new, back on the road.